Hey guys and welcome to this video where I'm going to be sorting out all my loose glitter. Here is the way it is kind of now. It was like this displayed in these two little trays in my nail art drawers and it was starting to drive me crazy and I don't reach for it often enough because it's just not organized. So I got this storage on Amazon. It's a bead container and it has 24 loose pots where I'm going to decant all of my loose glitter into these pots. And if you love organization videos, keep watching because this turns out so, so good in the end. I really like the outcome. Initially, I was going to decant these magpie glitters into the clear pots as well, but I decided against it. They are their own brand, like Magpie is a little bit on the more expensive side and I do love, love these glitters. So I kind of want to keep them on display on my shelves. So I did decide against putting them in with the rest of the glitter just in case I ever add to my Magpie collection and grow it. It'll be nice to keep them all together. So I do have this little Shein container. It's actually a lipstick holder and I originally had these placed just like this on my shelf. So I'm just kind of redoing that again and going to pop them back on my shelf and I'm kind of happy I did that just in case I do ever buy some more magpie stuff and here is the first glitter this glitter is absolutely gorgeous I got this from Aliexpress and it is a mix of hexies chunky medium and fine glitter and it is so stunning I've already used this a couple of times I've encapsulated this inside of gel and it is absolutely gorgeous so I'm just going to show you me spilling this glitter here into the pots and I shall come back in a few seconds and update you. The next one is the same glitter, same type, except for it is pink and I've also used this as well. It is absolutely gorgeous. So this is another similar glitter to the first two I showed you and this is a gold as you can see it is so reflective it is so gorgeous I haven't tried this yet so I'm hoping to try it soon it is it looks so stunning to me and that's the thing about organizing glitters I just when they're not displayed nicely you just don't tend to reach for them as much at least I don't think I do anyway so I'm hoping that this is going to make me like pull out the case and start using them a bit more. This gold here is actually another one of the first glitters I ever bought. It was on AliExpress, I remember, and it was at the start, very start of my nail journey. And it's just a really fine, darker gold than the other one, but just a straight gold glitter. And yeah, this is gorgeous and it kind of is a little bit sentimental because it was at the very start of my nail journey. I remember buying this and it's very, very nice. Just a fine glitter, but very, very nice. And yeah, guys, hit subscribe if you're enjoying this video and you love glitter as much as me. This one is from the manicure company. I actually got this in my kit when I was training. So this came as part of the gel nail course kit. And it's a, it is a lovely glitter. I only used it once. And I don't think I'll probably buy too much more from the manicure company, as in their glitters. I love their polishes and everything else, but they're, they don't have a wide range of glitter. So I probably won't buy too much of their glitter. So I'm definitely going to decant this one in. These next few glitters were bought as a packet of four or five and they were bought on AliExpress. Most of the glitters that are featured here in this video are bought from AliExpress unless they are kind of a brand name or from a nail company. But yeah, these ones are kind of in the medium size glitter, not too chunky and not too fine. And I always think when I look at them that they'd be perfect for mixing to make your own acrylics. They just remind me of that kind of glitter. I don't know why, but yeah. I'm just going to let you watch the next few pots and I'll be back in a few seconds. So 
This next one here, my daughter actually gave to me and I think she got it as part of a fairy house or something like that, but she wanted me to have it and I haven't used it yet, but I definitely am not gonna throw this one away. So I think it'd be lovely at Christmas time. It's kind of that scarlet red and it reminds me a little bit of Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Okay, so I have quite a few of those little tiny bottles of glitter too that you get in those sets and I'm not sure what to do with them. So when I saw this yellow and I knew I had two yellow bottles of those little glitters, I said, okay, I'm just going to mix them all together just to get rid of some packaging and not have as many bits of stuff lying around. But I don't know what to do with those little bottles of glitter. They're very hard for storage, but I still don't want to get rid of them. But anyways, here, I'm just going to show you these few next pots of glitter are fine glitter and they're just kind of bright colors so i'm just going to let you watch along for these next few So these are the angel flakes and these are like they're kind of they are quite hard they're not the softer ones but these are really popular amongst my nail clients so i've definitely used these a lot i've used them in encapsulated and gel designs and they are very good they i would highly recommend having these in your collection if you don't already because they definitely are popular amongst my clients so i'm just emptying in some in my bag and I'm going to keep the rest of the bag then as kind of a backup. These two guys here I got on Shein recently so they're like chunky pieces of glitter but they're in a little diamond shape. I haven't used these yet so I can't wait to use them. So the two little pots are going to be decanted into this big pot so I'm getting rid of a lot of little bits of storage which is kind of was my goal for this whole thing and it was so satisfying and enjoyable to do that like just to get rid of the little bits that don't kind of match anything. So um yeah I'm just going to let you watch a little bit more of that And these are the little dot glitters then that come in kind of different shapes and sizes. You know, there's small little dots and then larger ones. And these are the little glitters I was telling you about that I don't really know what to do with. So they kind of ended up going back into my drawer again because I really don't know where to put them. But I don't want to get rid of them in case I ever need them. I'm just cleaning off my case here ready to put the pots in their order. And I do try and put in a little bit of a rainbow order. So the pinks with the pink, the golds with the golds and so on. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed doing this. This was so therapeutic and I feel like my nail art drawers are so much better now. So I'm just going to let you watch the end of me placing this, 
these glitters on the box and then I do an overview of the magpie glitters on my shelf and exactly how these end up looking. So thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing and hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one.